Mark Molnar with a special edition of Blizzard 2016 coverage here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern. If you'd like to send in any of your videos and photos of this massive historic blizzard, you can send them Media Mark Facebook, also Weather Northeastern, WX Northeastern Twitter, MediaMark.com at gmail.com. Let's get right into this very busy active weather pattern. I'm focusing on this storm here in the east. Take a look at the liquid precipitation totals. Places like Washington, D.C., Baltimore, down to Richmond, all the way up to Philadelphia. We could be looking at three to four inches of liquid equivalent, as much as one to two inch liquid equivalent here from Harrisburg up to New York City, Long Island, and even portions of extreme southern New England. Let's get right into that pattern that's producing this storm. Look at this jet stream, a perfectly negative tilted trough scenario here. This trough, you've got these double, basically, jet streams that are coming together phasing coming perfectly as we speak at across the Carolinas and into Virginia and this will promote a perfect system that is ventilated very well and will be able to produce a large swath of life-threatening blizzard conditions let's get right in to the particulars here starting off with your impact scale map look at the mid-atlantic southern New England here parts of Pennsylvania Maryland Washington DC there are some models outputting as much as 40 to 45 inches of snow. Some of these are pretty decent, reliable models. Harrisburg, you're also in the crosshairs here, the bullseye. We're going to be looking at all-out blizzard conditions through Friday night into Saturday as well. Philadelphia, and as we speak, New York City, these heavier snow amounts keep getting elongated towards you as well, as this system is expected originally was going to head right out a beeline out to sea it's wobbled a little bit further to the north which should get places like new york city long island and maybe even extreme southern parts of connecticut rhode island and cape cod into potential blizzard-like conditions now blizzard-like conditions sustain winds 30 to 40 miles per hour or higher we will likely see 60 mile per hour winds here across portions of East DC, up through Southern New Jersey, Philadelphia, 30 to 40 mile per hour as far west as Harrisburg. And I will show you those wind maps. We're dealing with a mega ice storm down here in the Carolinas. It's not looking good up to a half to three quarters of an inch in ice around Charlotte, northward into north central portions of the state, even into South Carolina, and even significant totals back towards Richmond as well as Roanoke and all the way back into eastern Tennessee and Kentucky dealing with at least a half a foot to a foot. So this is a dangerous system and it has only got started just yet. So this system is rapidly approaching on the northeast and southern New England and we haven't seen anything yet. So let's get right into the wind field with this system. Take a look at the winds across the northeast here. We're looking at anywhere from 50, 60, even 70 miles per hour near the coast here on up from New Jersey into Long Island, parts of Cape Cod, Nantucket, back towards D.C. here, Philadelphia, Harrisburg. We'll likely get into those 40, 45, maybe even gust to 55 near Philadelphia in portions of New Jersey, New York City as well. You're going to be feeling the winds all across the northeast. You're already starting to feel them even well inland here as we get that pressure gradient, the strong high to the north here and a very, very powerful low expected to go down maybe even below 980 millibars now easily. So this system is going to pack a punch. Let's get right on into those snowfall totals. First, I'm gonna show you my forecast area here across southeastern Pennsylvania, south central Pennsylvania. That is where we're gonna be dealing with the 25 to as much as 40 inches of snow down towards DC just south of Harrisburg, western portions of Philadelphia, that is the bullseye. We could be seeing many locations getting easily to that 36 inch yardstick level point. So get out those yardsticks. Some of you, it may even top the yardsticks in some locations. That elongated path goes northeast here towards New York City as well. So we're bumping up those snow totals in New York City to potentially as much as a foot and a half, especially the southern and western portion of New York City, eastern portion as well. A little taper off towards a foot, maybe towards the northern sections, but still, we'll be dealing with all-out blizzard conditions. 
Long Island, we will be dealing with blizzard, and I've bumped your totals up to a foot and a half, maybe up to two feet on the eastern tip towards Montauk over here, and take a look. We're even dealing with State College, Scranton, dealing with almost up to a half a foot, southern suburbs of Pittsburgh, and even portions of northern New Jersey and into southern New England. We'll be seeing those six to eight inch amounts being very popular here across the northeast. So this is a very dangerous system. I want to scroll down a little bit out of my forecast area to center on the DC Harrisburg area and much of Virginia. Look at these snow totals that will be ensuing later into Friday night into Saturday morning. This is just amazing. These, some of these areas don't even see this in their average winter weather season. So as I've said before, the South will be getting, the Mid-Atlantic in the South will be getting a lot more snow this winter. And take a look at that, that is indicative of a pattern, a very interesting system here across Virginia. You don't see this in Virginia and North Carolina very often. So let's get right into those surface maps. Saturday system in full swing across the Northeast. I've extended that Northern periphery just a little bit higher here, just to the New York Pennsylvania border on Southward and even into Southern New England and Southeastern New England here. Portions of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, we will all be dealing with a tremendous amount of snow here. Snowfall amounts of two to three inches an hour are quite very possible at this point, and lots of coastal flooding and beach erosion will continue with wave heights about 50 to 75 percent above average. So we will be dealing with a lot of problems here and beach erosion, coastal flooding, winds and blinding snow. So you better have all your preparations in order into Sunday. System still pulling away here. We still have some effects in southeastern New England, but you see Monday, we warm things up and temperatures looking good well into your Tuesday as well. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook of Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube of Media Mark, comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus of Media Mark. Looking at your five day, here in Binghamton, it'll stay. We'll have a few flurries or snow showers maybe on Saturday here. Very windy. We'll be looking at a high that will feel colder than the actual temperature because a lot of wind, but we'll head up towards the mid to upper 20s, heading on into your Sunday. Warmer, sunnier into Monday as well, up near 40 for your Tuesday chance of showers into Wednesday. We continue that warming trend. Stay safe for all those people in the central and southern portions of my forecast area. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.